हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स ये वन स्टॉप फॉर लर्निंग ऑल द मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स व्हिच मेक यू स्मार्टर एंड एनेबल यू टू कैलकुलेट टेन टाइम्स फास्टर डिविएटिंग फ्रॉम द ट्रेडिशनल मेथड्स व्हिच आर ऑब्वियसली यू नो द बेस ऑफ एवरीथिंग यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड एंड यू शुड नो ऑल द ट्रेडिशनल मेथड्स बट यू नीड टू बी स्मार्ट ऑल्सो Sometimes skipping steps or using concepts which are not normally taught at school level helps you in cracking the multiple choice questions very very quickly. And one of the very important topics is the topic of HCF of three large numbers. So whenever you have three large numbers, it is obviously very difficult to find the HCF because the prime factorization method is very very tough. And then the second method which you know. that is a long division method it will take a lot of time right so you need to know another method which is not mentioned anywhere or in the printed books or on the internet also very very few people are providing these methods so watch the complete video you are going to learn something really really useful and this is the video on three different methods so you can actually compare when i do the prime factorization and the long division the process will be like very lengthy and i'll be taking a lot of time when i show you the third method at the end of the video you will realize that there are so many smart things which we all can learn so friends talking about these short tricks you know i should tell you that we have this short tricks for quantitative aptitude ebook which comes along with the reasoning course combo and in the reasoning we have 18 different chapters in this quantitative aptitude we have covered 24 chapters which are like normally uh, asked in all the quant exams and it contains over 300 short tricks and 10x faster calculations that's what we target using this uh, if you are preparing for any of these exams you know uh, can uh, see the list of exams which it uh, targets you have to get a copy of this and i'm sure for school students also for preparing various olympiads and then ntsc exam you know all these exams are really really important for every student so if you want the combo if you want to go for this you know you need to send me a message on whatsapp 9896369963 that is the whatsapp number send me a message now i'll tell you how to get a copy of this amazing combo which will be you know very very beneficial for all the school students all the school teachers also the mathematics teachers you know right so friends what is the concept of the trick which i am going to take up for this video so when i talk about the concept of finding the hcf the first thing that comes to my mind is prime factors so prime factorization method this is the most uh, you know basic method taught at school level but this prime factorization method works for small numbers when the numbers are like uh, you know uh, it's easy to factorize them but when the factors itself are big like maybe some number is divisible by 17 directly so how will the students make the factors of that four digit number or a five digit number very difficult right so works for numbers up to say 100 200 or maybe 300 400 also but beyond that you need to have the second method which is the long division method so long division method is the second method which all the students study at school level and this basically is like you have three numbers in ascending order say so you take the second number and divide it by the first number so you perform some kind of steps you know i will demonstrate that using three numbers and then you get to the final divisor and this final divisor is to be combined with the third number and again final divisor is to be found out right so that will give you the hcf obviously we will be illustrating everything using prime factorization and using long division because we want to find the efficiency of the third method right so the third method which works for all numbers and avoids the use of prime factorization and long division is the method which we are going to call the exclusive method so you need to watch the video and i'm taking three numbers now and you will see the efficiency of that method right so let's see the numbers look at the numbers here 1080 1350 and 
थ्री सिक्स सेवन फाइव सो हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू फाइंड दी एच सी एफ वेरी वेरी फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स विल से प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड बिकॉज फोर डिजिट नंबर्स यू नो मेकिंग प्राइम फैक्टर्स कैन बी अ रियली ट्रिकी जॉब एंड इफ यू गेट वन फैक्टर रॉन्ग एवरीथिंग गोज रॉन्ग बट लेट एस ट्राई दैट्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन यू विल सी इवन इफ आई हैव मेड द प्राइम फैक्टर्स ऑलरेडी हाउ मच टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू कंज्यूम टू यू नो गेट टू द फाइनल आंसर ऑफ दी एच सी एफ Now the first number one zero eight zero. I want to write the factors. Then one three five zero again the factors, and then three six seven five. I want to write all the factors. Now for the first one one zero eight zero. I think this is going to be two times five forty. So two times two seventy. So two times one thirty five. So forty five into three. So थ्री एंड फोर्टी फाइव मीन्स नाइन इंटू फाइव सो थ्री थ्री एंड फाइव सी आई मेड ऑल द प्राइम फैक्टर्स ऑफ वन जीरो एट जीरो लाइक वाइज वन थ्री फाइव जीरो विल हैव अ टू सो दिस इज सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव गोज इन टू थ्री राइट सो प्रॉब्लली आई हैव थ्री थ्रीज हियर सो आई राइट ऑल द थ्रीज टूगेदर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल हैव टू फाइव सो वन फाइव एंड टू फाइव And three six seven five. If I want to make the factors, it is a odd number, so divisible by twelve and nine twenty one. So divisible by three, and then the remaining factors are like five times five times seven times seven. Now see, I have made the factors already, and uh, that's why I have taken less time. But if you want to make the factors, even the school students, you know, class six, class seven students, they are going to consume a hell lot of time to make the factors itself. Now we will write it in exponential form. So how many twos? Three twos. So two raised to the power three. Uh, three threes. So three raised to the power three. And a five. So five raised to the power one. This is two raised to the power one. And then we have three threes. So three raised to the power three. And then we have two fives. So five raised to the power two. Likewise, here we have three power one. And then five power two and seven power two. Right. Now, if I want to find the highest common factor of the three numbers, I just have to pick up which factors are common in all the numbers. See, there is no two here, so this is cancelled out, right? Now, between the threes, we have three power three, three power three, three power one. So the common factor is just three power one, okay? And then between the fives, five power one, five power two, five power two. So the minimum power is five power one. And the seven is not a common factor, so the answer for the question is three five zero fifteen. So the highest common factor of the numbers is fifteen. Oh, that took around like three minutes, right? Three numbers, three minutes. But there are efficient methods. You call them efficient, right? We want to try the long division method for the same three numbers: one zero eight zero, one three five zero, and three six seven five. Now let's see whether that is more efficient or not. right so for that i will be taking the second number second number is 1350 so 1350 to be divided by 1080 which is the first number so one times is 1080 so when you subtract you get 270 right and so this number 1080 becomes the dividend And uh, we have to do how many times? Four times, and that gives exactly one zero eight zero. So fortunately for me, the division terminated here, and the last divisor is two hundred and seventy. So now what I do is two hundred and seventy becomes the divisor for the third number three six seven five. So now I have to do the uh, division process all over again. So two seventy ones are. 270 so i can subtract this becomes 7 and this is 16 minus 7 9 so 97 and i have to bring the 5 down right so 273s are 810 so this gives me 5 6 1 1. 1 1 165 and so now this divisor 270 becomes the dividend 270 comes here So one times is one sixty five. So this gives me how much? Two seventy minus one sixty five is one zero five, right? And now one sixty five becomes the dividend. And then again one times is one zero five, 
which gives me 60. Now 105 becomes the dividend, so I'll write it here 105. And the divisor is 60. So 60, 1 times is 60, which gives me 45. Now 60 becomes the divisor. So you have to keep on doing until you get the remainder as 0, right? 45, 1 times is 45. So you have 15. And finally, 45 becomes the device, uh, dividend. So 15, 3 times is 45. And you have a 0. So which is the last divisor? The last divisor is 15. And therefore, the highest common factor of the three numbers is 15. So you can see, even if uh, I have, you know, used uh, single steps for division you know i took so much of time and just think about a 11 year old or 12 year old student or 13 year old student uh, looking to uh, crack this question through long division it is going to take four to five minutes at least and that too the surety is not there that you will get the correct answer and now comes the climax the climax for the of the video i told you the third method which is the minimum difference method and for that, I would just like to tell you that why this minimum difference is used. If the difference between 1080, 1350 and 3675, the consecutive differences, if I take difference like this, difference like this and difference like this, right? Since I have arranged them in ascending order, the difference between the first two and the second two, one of them will be the lower one, right? So I have to take the minimum difference. That means the difference which is minimum, either it is between second and first, third and second, or third and first, right? So minimum difference I can see here is 1350 minus 1080, right? And that minimum difference comes out to be 270. And you can see the difference between these two numbers is like in thousands, and difference between these is further more so the minimum difference is between the first two numbers only and that is 270 now the concept which I am going to use here is the highest common factor of all the, all these numbers is a factor of the minimum difference that means now my answer is going to be a factor of 270 only so what I will do is I will reduce this 270 in terms of its prime factors so 270 is 2 times 135 right so 135 is 45 into 3 so 3 times 45 45 is 9 times 5 so 3 times 3 times 5 so i made the factors of 270 now the three numbers here 1080 1350 and 3675 now let's consider one factor at a time if you see this number 2 it divides this because it's an even number, divides this because this is also an even number, but it doesn't divide this because this is an odd number. So if any factor doesn't divide even one of these numbers, then you have to cancel it out. Because 2 doesn't divide 3, 6, 7, 5, I cancelled out the 2. Now if you watch this number 3, 8 plus 1 is 9, so divisible by 3, 5 plus 3 plus 1 is 9, divisible by 3. 6 plus 3, 9 plus 12. 9 plus 12 is 21, divisible by 3. So all the three numbers are divisible by 3. So I will put a circle over 3 and just write the quotients. 3, 3 is 9, 3, 6 are 18, 0, right? 3, 4 is 12, 15, uh, 5 and 0. 3, 1 is 3, 3, 2 is 6, 3, 2 is 6 and 3, 2. See, I divided all the numbers by 3 and I have put a circle because all these numbers were divisible by 3. Now, Let's consider the next factor 3. Does it divide this? Yes, it does. 6 plus 3 is 9. 5 plus 4, 9. Divisible. How about this? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this number is not divisible by 3, right? So next 3 is cancelled out because it doesn't divide this. And automatically the next factor also gets cancelled out because it doesn't divide 1 to 2, 5. And finally, you have the factor 5. Ending in 0, divisible by 5. Ending in 0 divisible by 5, ending in 5 divisible by 5. So you have a circle over these and you don't need to divide them now because there are no more factors here. So what is the HCF? The highest common factor of the numbers are the numbers which you have circled. So 3 times 5.
and that answer is same as what we obtained through the prime factorization method and through the long division method. Now this is how it works and you can see the amount of steps, amount of work we have done here as compared to the amount of work we did here. Look at this long division method. We got the answer alright but the number of steps in division were huge and that is why the time consumption was too much. Likewise the prime factorization since I have written all the factors here directly so it looks easy but making all these factors itself is a uh, terrible job you know time consuming job and then putting them in uh, exponential form finding the uh, common factor that will take too much of time and therefore this method of minimum difference works the best in case of four digit numbers. So friends, I hope you have learned something new today and you will be applying these methods to find the HCF of 3, 4, 5 numbers also. You just need to check the minimum difference between any two numbers and make factors of that minimum difference and check divisibility by those factors. That's it. So friends, if you like this video, do share it with all your friends. Uh, who are you know aspiring to clear the competitive exams who are looking for creative mathematics strategies you know so that they can improve their speed of calculations also and i hope you have subscribed the channel by now and uh, you must be getting all the notifications because you need to click the bell shaped icon also uh, if you want to get the notifications on the mobile so friends if you like this video do make sure that you share it among all your whatsapp uh, contacts and groups Thanks for watching this video and all the best for the practice of this method.